Good morning, afternoon, all of it. Wausau and Marathon County. Wausau Mayor Katie Rosenberg here with the amazing uh, newly minted Marathon County Health Officer, Laura Scuderi. How are you? Hi. Nice to be here, Katie. How are you today? Good. Congratulations on your unanimous uh, support from the county board. It's real. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to get started. Like, let's get moving. And we got to get moving because COVID has not gone away. And also all the other stuff that we normally work on has gone oh, yeah. away. So. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about all that stuff, too. But first, okay. I'm sorry, we're going to talk about the super sexy thing. Okay. Um, the Department of Health Services and the governor announced that they're giving you $100 if you get the first vaccine, if you haven't yet. Can we talk about this? Oh, my God. eligible? Yeah. $100. Let's go. One hundo. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like that's that's a good chunk of, you know. And Oh, yeah. The big, the big question I'm getting is, I've already been vaccinated. What about me? And I'm like, well. You're already a winner. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're winning at life. You don't need a hundred dollars. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, you can't, if you've already gotten your vaccine, you can't get a, another vaccine just to get a hundred dollars and yeah. um, they do track it. So don't, I, don't even waste your time trying. Um, on the other hand, if somebody hasn't gotten their vaccine yet, and we're Maybe talking about waiting, Maybe they weren't old enough yet. Yeah. Or, you know, you're thinking, uh, I don't know, I'm waiting for Pfizer to be approved. FDA approved. We're there now. It's happened. So 12 and up, 12 and up can get it. Yes. Okay. So a hundred dollars, you'll, they'll help you figure out how to apply on DHS website. I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, and, and teenagers, teenagers, like, I know I'm pointing at you now, um, is that teenagers, like if, if you get vaccinated, you'll get a hundred dollars and you don't have to quarantine if you get exposed during the school year. Mm. So, you know, if you're in football or you're in, um, art, theater, club. art club, croquet I, club, ooh. like, and you don't, and you don't get, or you do get exposed to someone and it's it could happen yep. uh, you don't have to miss out from all your cro croquet club practices yes oh my gosh I'm gonna call around and see how I can get involved with croquet club first of all <laughs> but also very excited that you get the money and also your life so that's pretty cool we did have a croquet club in uh, in college oh my gosh I feel like that probably was replaced by ultimate frisbee um at this point I don't know feels like the same set <laughs> okay awesome hundred dollars get it done okay now we were chatting before you started recording a little bit about the data that you're seeing and you've got a ton on the website so maybe this is now our opportunity to just kind of go through it yeah. and what what can I find on your site what questions will you answer sure Give let me show me. you what I yeah. got so um Here that screen yeah can you see it Katie Yes. All right. So this is the Marathon County Health Department's website, and we have um, a, co a special COVID-19. And if you can see my cursor, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm making a pointer thing. Yes. Here. Um, and so you can see there's a whole COVID-19 area with all kinds of really great resources. Underneath that, we have a dashboard. So this is the dashboard. Uh, we, we post a lot of data uh, and we keep up with it. We try to keep up with it as, as much as data as possible for everybody so they can make good decisions. Yeah. Um, this is uh, right here is data based on um, the total state. So if you okay. want just Marathon County data, you got to click on mm -hmm. our county. And then up here, you can choose exactly mm -hmm. what you want to see. Um, if you want the total population that's received a dose in our area, 49.7%. If you want the adults that have completed the series, 57.4%. Awesome. Um, and so what, you know, if we go back to the total population, um, we would really love to see more 12 and up. Okay, yeah. 12 and up, you're up. Yep. $100. Right, $100 until September 6th. So it's not gonna go on forever. So just get it done. Get it done. Um, okay, and then this is case data, um, oh boy. and so you know this is Marathon County specific about how many uh, confirmed cases, and this is cumulative, uh, okay. how many people were ever hospitalized in our county. Okay. So this is just you know 
um, good information or if you're writing a report or you um, just a curious cat, a curious cat. Uh, this is the positive case demographics for, broken down uh, for Marathon County by gender, age, race, ethnicity. Um, and here's our case count, our daily case count. Oh, um, and, yeah, so you can see we're uh, we're going up. And and uh, just to give you a sense of it, this is September now, and this is September last year. And Ooh. so we're kind of where we were at around October. Okay. Of last year. So when it comes to the number of cases we're seeing and dealing with. Um, so we're, we're really thinking it's, it, you know, this is something that we need to take care of. We need to manage this so it doesn't go up here. Right. We don't want that. I don't want that. Yeah. And then um, this is our hospitalizations. Uh, one of the new pieces of data the to, to come is the hospitalizations of people who have been vaccinated. And I can tell you it's obviously much less than the people who yeah. are not vaccinated. So you want to get that vaccination to ensure that you're not hospitalized. Um, and then we have some information about hospitalization, like who is going to the hospital. And in our county, a lot of people who are 70 to 79, um, there's less people that are under 18. Oh, whoops. And then, but you know, it is possible. There are some right. in there. Um, and then some information about the deaths in our county um, by age, by gender, um, uh, total confirmed uh, probables. And then we have some information that even drives down into census tract and you can oh, yeah. really, uh, zoom in. Woo. Yeah, I've actually had some questions about census tract, like asking people to set up, you know, specific mm -hmm. clinics and areas. And I know we talked a little bit about that, but. Yeah, we're happy to work with any um, any business or event um, or you know we're really working hard to ensure that all of the all of the counties here have access to a vaccine. And I can tell you that if you go on vaccines.gov, uh, we have a really good coverage area. Awesome in Marathon County, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then this gives you a sense of disease activity. So uh, in the last two weeks, so we are right now we're at high. Okay. Yeah. I don't like that. Don't love it either, but what you gonna do? So we're gonna keep working on it. Okay, so get vaccinated, get your hundo, uh, get your friends to get vaccinated so they get their hundo mm -hmm. and let's let's kick this thing. Yeah. Okay, so I have a last question, um, even though I feel like I've been yap yapping through this whole thing. Um, obviously we're kind of getting to that point where we're, I'm thinking about where's my flu shot and other things are happening, different kinds of respiratory illnesses. It sounds to me like there might be some buzzing around with other illnesses. So what do you know about this? Yeah, like our, uh, normally this is, we're beginning cold and flu season, right? Well, yeah. we've seen more cold and flu activity earlier than we have before. And, and so, uh, you know, this is another plea to people if you have symptoms, if your child has symptoms, uh, keep them home uh, and so that they can recover. What we don't wanna have is on top of COVID and all the hospitalizations and, and uh, the impact on our healthcare providers, we do not want um, res other respiratory illnesses that need hospitalization adding to that burden. So keep them home, wash your hands, um, you know, all the stuff that we do to protect from COVID, most of it protects from a lot of the, the uh, respiratory illnesses. So, you know, um, uh, physical distancing, three to six feet and masking also helps. So, okay, so stay on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're not just protected from COVID, all the other things. All the things. Well, I think you've answered all my questions for now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time I'll answer your questions. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, see you next week, Katie. See you later.